Well, another year, another Google I.O. And every single year, it's incredibly fun, uh, not only to be a part of this community that is full of developers, and you can see all of them down there. Actually, there's a class going on right next to me right now, so I'm trying to be just a little bit quiet. Uh, but ultimately, it's really fun, and it shows how much Google really loves their developers, and uh, really shows how much they want to take care of them. I mean, you'll see in the fun reel that's going to follow after the speaking part, uh, just how there are there's like a big old playground on the second floor Floor, which is right behind me and uh, you have everything from arcade machines to beanbag chairs to swings and seesaws and everything they just really wanted to create like this fun environment for everybody but of course that is not just that's only part of what Google I.O. really is. Google I.O., on the other hand, is all about what is coming for the upcoming year. And we, though it might not be quite as big as uh, Google I.O.'s from the past, uh, there is actually still a lot to be excited about here. Uh, and at the keynote, uh, we got basically a look into what would be the polish of um, Android, which uh, a lot of people probably do agree is sorely needed. And uh, Android M, we're really excited to finally get uh, our hands on that, maybe a little bit later this year. Uh, aside from that, however, Google Photos is something we're going to be using a lot over the next uh, however so many months and probably for the foreseeable future because you'll be able to get unlimited updates and unlimited uploads, I should say, of your photos and videos. Uh, but from there, uh, the keynote was uh, pretty uneventful, actually. Uh, we had some uh, protesters last year come out of the come out at the keynote uh, out of nowhere. So this year, like the security was really ramped up. There were metal detectors in the entrances. And because of that, nothing really happened, which turned out to be really nice. Uh, and it was pretty much a more laid back I.O. I would have to say. Uh, it wasn't really centered around any one product or device, I should say. It wasn't centered around any one device that they were really hoping to sort of get out there. Because obviously in Android, at this point in 2015, we have so many new devices that um, really already give the experiences and are high-end and give everything that the users might want. So it's now about refining those experiences. But really the big story out of here uh, for me was cardboard. And you can see the motif around here. There's uh, brown everywhere. It's almost like this wooden look all over the place. And way, up, way back over there, you have that look as well. Uh, but the reason why is because, you guessed it, cardboard. Cardboard is getting a huge focus this year. Not only because it is a very easy to put together and a very affordable uh, platform, but also because because it's uh, going to be used as a VR platform for not only people to enjoy things on YouTube via the Jump program, but also because it's going to take an educational standpoint. You're going to get uh, the expeditions, and I did a video on that as well, uh, where kids can actually observe and experience and be immersed and uh, be a part of all of these things that they should be learning from, otherwise their textbooks and maybe through like video documentaries. And those things might become a thing of the past, at least to some extent, because expeditions is actually really, really cool. And then uh, I also did a video on the uh, 8-tap project, uh, Project Jacquard, where circuits, uh, well, circuits, but they say little chips are actually connected to the specific stitching of particular clothing, and those can be actually used for inputs as well as biometric reading. Uh, I say biometrics because we already have clothing that, that does those sort of things, but now you can also add on top of that the ability to, to uh, get input or to uh, control things like your phone or anything else, uh, and there were some demos on that as well. But really, Google I.O. is uh, every single year a great little stamp on the middle of the year uh, showing where we're going and where we've come from uh, in this particular year. And in 2015, we've had some really great Android iterations already, and Google is just continuing to make all of those ecosystems better and bolstering other ones as well. Uh, so to all these developers that are behind me and to all of you that are watching, I hope you guys all enjoyed my coverage of Google I.O. Uh, what follows this will be a fun reel, so I could just show you maybe just a couple, maybe two to four minutes of uh, some fun stuff that's not only here, but also the after hours party uh, that I went to last night, all of which that footage was shot on the uh, Galaxy S6 Edge. Uh, so uh, just so you guys uh, kind of know that when you see the footage and why it's a little bit different from the ones I have here. But in any case, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you drop us some likes on our video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and remember to check out all the other content that I made here at Google I.O. because we are your source for all things Android. See you later, guys.